the Chandrayaan-3, is the third Indian lunar exploration mission under the Indian Space Research Organization's ISRO Chandrayaan program. It consists of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pradyan, similar to those of the Chandrayaan-2 mission. The propulsion module carried the lander and rover configuration to lunar orbit in preparation for a powered descent by the lander. Chandrayaan-3 was launched on July 14, 2023. The lander and rover landed at the lunar south pole region on August 23, 2023 at 18.02 IST, making India the first country to successfully land a spacecraft near the lunar south pole and the fourth country to soft land on the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 cost so much less as it completed in only $75 million, and the Russian Luna costs around $230 million, and China Changi probe costs around $180 million, the Israel scientists accomplished the amazing work. But, the question arises, China's Changi 5 reached lunar orbit in 5 days, and Russia's Luna 25 in 7 days, but why Chandrayaan took 42 days? The Israel scientist strategy was amazing, Chandrayaan-3 has certain limitations in terms of propelling the lander module directly into lunar transfer orbit. Due to this challenge, ISRO decided to leverage principles of physics and harness gravity to perform earthbound maneuvers. Landing the Chandrayaan-3 at the South Pole was a challenge, as the southern polar terrain is tougher, bumpier, littered with craters and deep trenches, and devoid of proper sunlight, with mercury dipping to minus 230 degrees Celsius. This is why the pole boasts of no smooth success stories. Several countries have already missed the mark, India's Chandrayaan-2 lander and more recently, Russia's Luna 25, both crash-landed on the South Pole. But, the India's Chandrayaan-3, created the history and became the first rover on the southern pole of the moon. Do like and subscribe, Universe Science.